Você é pelo mais noni? Would you, yeah, I just want to quickly ask him a few questions. Would you be able to talk to us? Uh, can you give us an account of what happened? You and I witnessed here. It was later in the evening around uh, 15 minutes to 7. Nine thirty to ten. I just heard boo 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 and I was on the ground when the building collapsed. And I have made sure I remain the way I am so that I should not get up as they now release and now went down. As I went down, I went down naked because I've already been on my bed. I stand this on. I don't know what is really going on. But fortunately for me, some, some of my boys came and they assisted me. I bring them in out naked and later they wrapped me with wrapper. So do you have an idea of how many of your neighbors were in that building when it came in? When it is around the 9, 10, the entrance will be locked. Whosoever that is having the key, he or she has an access to come in. But later, I had somebody knocking the door. You do. Had me. And I told them, this, who are the people making this over there? They said that somebody came to fetch water and he's, he has been locked outside. Instead of him to do it, the normal way, just banging the gates. I sense it that that might be the cause of that is of this incident that we are in now. But we have an idea from what we've gathered so far that the building might be distressed before now. It has been wrong because formerly there's a breaking of the you know some pillars. pillars. As of now, we have a total of 23 people rescued alive and eight uh, recovered dead. Out of these eight, five males, three females were recovered between yesterday night, uh, 9.30 p.m. to the moment. Uh, presently now, what, they are, what we are trying to look for is a child of about four years old. That is what we have done so far. And uh, when we were interrogating some neighbors, we were fortunate to see uh, one of the landlord child, the son, who told us that he parked out of this property some months ago. And uh, since that time, they've asked all the tenants to move out. Uh, so some of them were adamant. So they refused to move out before this one. Even yesterday night, one of the rescued guy informed me that one of their tenants, one of his friends, who happened to be Tahib, was inside. When he now called for assistance, that the building was 
showing some signs. They went in there to observe. But before they could finish observation, the building was already coming down and they rushed out. But Tohib could not make it out. So mm -hmm. that is the level so far. Okay, so when did you get the call uh, to be here? And what have you been doing so far? How is the rescue effort? Well, immediately the incident happened. Uh, we had another incident going on at Agege where boys were engaging themselves. Task force, RRS were mobilized. So along that line, movement was restricted, but the advance team got here. So immediately we, they got here, the community guys, they really, really helped. If not, the number of rescue may not be as much as that, but they were very, very cooperative and supportive. So we thank them.